The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. A pet pharmacy and a shoe manufacturer. Boy, what a combination that is for a couple of aggressive growth stocks. Leave it to our aggressive growth editor, Brian Boland, to come up with that combination, which he did. You know, I thought you would have gone a little different route there with, you know, pets and Crocs. Well, I mean, if you need the shoes to run after your pets, that's one thing. <laughs> right? right? I'm not a pet owner, so I can't identify. Well, okay. Well, I am a pet owner. Right. Uh, so pets med, uh, Pet Med Express, pets is the ticker. Yep. Uh, very interesting story here of late in this stock. Uh, a short seller a couple weeks ago came out with a report citing... Uh, pet med express and veterinarians as a potential cause for the opiate uh, crisis saying that people are injuring their pets and then veterinarians are then prescribing uh, opiates uh, and the people then take the opiates and they're at hugely discounted rates and they were uh, advertised online so it's a very interesting little play here personally I think the, uh, this is one of those uh, distort and short or possibly short and distort they probably were short the stock ahead of this idea uh, distorted the facts of, of what's really going on here and it really caused the stock to drop but uh, we see it profiled here today as a Zacks rank number one strong buy and an A for growth as we see on the screen here there's that number one yeah. there's that A for growth because we are all about aggressive growth if we take a look at the numbers here we see that over the last uh, 60 days we have estimates moving higher for this quarter for next quarter for this year and next year Numbers moving up pretty good here from $1.25 to uh, $1.42. Next year, not quite as big of a raise, but obviously still some growth in there. Uh, a dime for, for this year move over years. But here's what I'm talking about. You know, this was the big move a couple weeks ago when the stock dumped off on that short seller report. Uh, I, I think that the report is kind of bogus. Uh, so I, I'm a fan of this stock here, and I think that it, uh, it moves higher. People taking pet meds. People taking, yeah. Med, you know, my dog has had uh, issues, uh, but it, it gets the exact same medicine that I would get. Really? Just at a much more inflated price. So this whole concept to me is completely backwards from my, uh, my experience with uh, my dog having issues. Yeah, we should take your pets to regular doctors and let them <laughs> prescribe the cheaper medication for them. Right? Yeah, that's what I think, too. <laughs> And then uh, Crocs, those are the uh, people who design and manufacture the footwear for all of America right, who footwear. likes to wear Crocs. Right, but not, not alligators, you know. Right. No, and we're not talking about having a, an alligator as a pet. Right. Pets, Crocs. Right. I got it. Okay, I, I, know, I know you got it. Yeah, I'm just not reacting. Yeah, I, I, I know, <laughs> bad jokes. They, you know, I'm full of bad jokes, Terry. I just let you kind of go off into Neverland on your own. You know, and, and that's where I stay. Okay. Uh, and this stock is staying at a Zacks rank number one with the A for growth, as all my stocks are for the most part. Mm -hmm. Not all, but for the most part in these videos. Uh, so Crocs. We can see that there's been a, a little bit of uh, discrepancy here. Some estimates are lower over the last 60 and 90 days for this quarter. Some are higher for next quarter. Uh, but then over the year, if we take a look at those, you know, those estimates for the quarter, didn't end up impacting the year, which is a heavier uh, factor in determining the Zacks rank than just the quarter. So we can see estimates are moving up here from a loss of seven cents to just a loss of three cents this year, and then a gain of 30 cents for next year, and that's up from uh, 22 cents. So that's a good uh, move there. If we can see the chart here for Crocs, the stock's just been beaten up. You know, the fad idea has been in it, the crushing of retail has kind of been in there. But the last two beats have been pretty big ones here. We see a 266% positive earnings surprise, followed up by 80% positive earnings surprise. So this stock is moving higher. Definitely one uh, to keep on your radar screen. So apparently this brand of uh, footwear is still popular with more than just chefs who cook in a kitchen. <laughs> I, I get, you know, chefs and people that like to walk on the beach and I think six-year-olds. Six-year-olds were a big, uh, you know, early adopters for uh, for so Crocs. Not losing its appeal. Not losing its appeal just yet. You know, I think that there's other brands, other things that they've made as well. So it's not just that one style of, you know, rubber shoe. 
Yeah. All right. We'll take your word for it, I guess. <laughs> do you own either of these two? I, I do not, and I don't own a pair of Crocs. Okay. Well, I'm glad you clarified that, too, because <laughs> it could open up a whole new discussion. Uh, in between these little banterous updates here with Brian, you can go and look for more information on not only the companies that he brings to your attention, but also a lot of other stocks as well. And that is all contained on our website, Zax.com. Just go to the homepage and link to it all from there. With Brian, I'm Terry Ruffalo.